Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. Suppose that f is continuous on the closed interval from 0 to 4, f is 0 equals 1, and f prime of x is between 2 and 5 for all x in the open interval, 0 to 4. Show that f of 4 is between 9 and 21. Okay, this is um, quite a few pieces of information. Let me, uh, I'm going to write out a few, um, write, out, write out all these statements. Okay, um, so the, the idea here, the, if you want to picture things geometrically, um, we have a starting point for the, uh, for the value of our function. So at the left end point of this interval, f of 0 is equal to 1. If it, and, and we're given uh, bounds on the rate at which f can grow as x moves from 0 to 4. So the way we're going to get this bound here is by imagining that f prime is the largest value that it can be. So I notice the, this question doesn't say that f is differentiable for all values of x, but the fact that we're given this, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm going to assume that f prime of x is defined for all values of x. If, x, if f prime of x is equal to its maximum at all values, so that f prime of x is always equal to 5, then uh, the value of f of 4 will be equal to 21. Because we start at 1, we increase at a rate of 5 over an interval of length 4, and so 1 plus 4 times 5 is 21. Similarly, if f prime is equal to its minimum value for all, for all values of x, then um, you know we start at one, it grows at a rate of two over an interval of length four. Two times four is eight. Eight plus one gives us nine. Um, I suppose another way of, of showing this is by writing that f of x, sorry, f of four will be equal to f of zero plus the integral from zero to four of f prime of x dx and so f of 4 is equal to 1 plus the integral from 0 to 4 f prime x dx um, and now by using the inequalities we have for f prime of x um, if I replace this thing with something larger, the right hand side gets larger. And if I replace it with something smaller, the right hand side gets smaller. Uh, sorry, 2 times dx. And these integrals are really easy to compute. I'm not even going to, I'm not going to walk through any steps here. The left hand side is equal to 9. And the right hand side is equal to 21. Um, yeah, so, you know, this is, this is something that uh, comes up a lot. Uh, at least this is a very simple example of something that comes up a lot. If you want to put bounds on a function, well, if you have a bound on the function's derivative, then you can translate that into a bound on the function. And there's a huge number of different ways uh, that this general idea comes up um, in higher levels of calculus or analysis. Um, if I have any more to say about this problem, I'll put it in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.